Hey guys, Tim Robson here from whichcar.com.au. This handsome gentleman is Craig Green and he is here to race Rally Australia for the Citroen World Rally Team. Craig, we're going across the Harbour Bridge. You've got a pretty cool job. I know, yeah, it's not so bad. The sun's out. Uh, it's a bit warmer than it is back, uh, back at home and taking in all the sights and sounds of Sydney here. So no, it's good. Awesome. Tell me about Rally Australia, mate. You've done it once before, twice before? Once, yeah, last year was a, was the first time. So um, yeah, I love it. I have to say it's a really nice rally. I've, I've got connections here. My sister lives in in, uh, in, in, the, in WA in Perth, so uh, I've spent a, spent a, yeah nearly two weeks here now. I always try to spend a lot of time over over the sunny side of the world. So uh, <laughs> yeah, it's good. good fun. Nice. And you're you're a full time driver with Citroen, so you're aboard one of the. It's got to be. It is really one of the wildest categories of motorsport available today, isn't it? Really, Formula One's kind of a thing. The World Rally has, especially in that last couple of years, has really leapt up a notch, right? Yeah, it's it's a uh, for me it's a, it's an adventure. Um, it's an adventure sport as well as a motorsport. So uh, I, I love it. I think it's unique uh, to be able to drive across public roads, to be able to take in all this scenery, and and, uh, and to be able to drive you know at two hundred k's an hour in, in these roads is it's pretty awesome. So you know, track racing for me it's. A, it's a bit too restricted, you know. You're getting to go around in circles for a weekend, but for us, we get to we get to head it into the forest and into the hills, and uh, we get to have, I think, a bit more fun. Now, uh, are you a gravel guy, or you know, being from Ireland, they love their tarmac rally. What's your favourite surface, uh, road or, or dirt? Oh, tarmac. Tarmac, yeah, 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 yeah right. Yeah, any, yeah. any day of the weekend. It's unfortunate because we we don't get that many tarmac rallies in the World Championship anymore. There's, yeah, right. there's really only two pure tarmac rallies now, so. It's um, it's a pity. Uh, it's, it is a bit sad because for me, I, I get the most pure driving feeling on tarmac, and uh, it's the majority of the rallies are, are, are gravel now. So I know you guys over here don't have so much tarmac, but trust me, it is it is really really uh, a lot a lot of fun. So, uh, so have you done like yeah, we obviously you know, share around on Facebook a lot of those crazy guys in in Escort Mark Twos just max attack sideways through narrow laneways is that kind of how you grew up rallying uh i would have started already quite early in world championship rallying uh, with a small car but uh, up until i even I did a, yeah last year i did some rallies with a with an escort back at home in ireland and for me irish rallying is the best rallying you'll find in the world they are the best roads yeah uh, the best people the best uh, the best atmosphere so i try and go back and, and do some rallies there as much as i can so yeah. Uh, and yeah, my family now we've just we've just bought a Metro Six R Four, so I'm going to go back and do some uh, do some driving with that. As well I did read about that. So Metro Six R Four is one of the Group B cars from the uh, for the 1980s. We, we, you're thinking wings and things and power on these cars. I think the Metro kind of makes them you know look like a, a, a daily driver, right? Yeah, the, well, the Metro was just an aerodynamic box, pretty much. You know, it was a, a box with wings on it, so. Um, but yeah, my dad rallied one for for years and years yeah, back right. back at home. Uh, okay, not not the Group E one. Obviously, they were banned immediately, oh, and, and uh, yeah. they uh, they came out with a with a, a different the same engine, but they sleeved it back from a three liter uh, to two point five. So that meant you could you could compete in the national rallies at home. So yeah, uh, yeah but still a bit of an animal, right? Still, actually, it now uh, with modern technology, it's on different injectors and things like that. It's got more power than it had in, in the, <laughs> when it was a Group E car. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's. I'm really looking forward. I'm doing my first rally on that when I come back from here, so I'm, yep. uh, I'm looking forward to that. And that, that to me is is where I was brought up and where I, where my passion for for rallying came from. So I'm really really looking forward to, to doing that. So how is uh, 2018 gone for you in, in the Citroen team? <laughs> Fairly abysmal, to, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> right. It hasn't been a, hasn't been the best of years. Uh, speed's been really good. We've had some some nice results. Uh, was was second in, in Sweden earlier on in the year with a, a big fight for the victory with with Thierry Neville. Uh, and then, yeah, in, in GB, uh, not the last rally, rally before, we had another good result fighting for the podium, and we, we ended up finishing uh, finishing fourth in the end. But apart from that, everything has fallen apart. I've had yeah. some horrific bad luck, a lot of punctures. Uh, the puncture were lead, leading the rally in, in Turkey, uh, so that was a, that was a disaster. And then, in, in, in the end, the car actually burnt to the ground. I was going to say, was that the event where we were watching you head in hands, watching this? Yeah. I don't know, million dollar car burn yeah. to the ground. Yeah, yeah, that was it. So and out of the lead as well. Oh, yeah. Maybe so maybe the less we say about that, the better going into this yeah, one. Yeah. What do you? Uh, what what's the the go for this rally? This is the last rally of the year for 2018. Uh, long flowing roads is a real battle at the front for the for the drivers championship. What's uh, what's Citroen and what are you going to do? I just wanted the best result to finish the year. To be honest with you, it's it's been tough. And my last rally in Spain, we had another really good day on the gravel on Friday. We're, we're right up fighting for the podium contention, right up close to the front really. And uh, 
I had a spin on the Tarmac roads on Saturday and, and that set me back on the, on the back foot again. So I, I just want a, a good result to finish the year. I want to be able to enjoy my Christmas and enjoy my New Year's and, and, uh, and to be looking forward to next season with a good result under my belt. So that's um, yeah. that's all I'm thinking about now, really. It seems, I suppose, that when you get to the top of any discipline, the, uh, the commitment that you need to kind of get that last few percent, it seems pretty intense. Like the speeds that these guys look like they're doing from the outside, it, it, it doesn't seem possible what's how how much do you have to step it up to get you know into that top three even, even to win it's it's the level now is uh, okay i don't want to speak out of turn but even you know talking to, to to a lot of the people that are in the sport now people that have been involved in it for a long time the level now is uh, is higher than it's ever been i think wow. um, yeah. you know and there's a group of young drivers now that are really you know stepping it up and and uh, it's it's really uh, it's really really tough to break into the top three and and then yeah, to try and put put the package together to win a rally is even more tough. So um, yeah, it's it's a nice time to be part of the sport. At least you know that you're at, you're in it at the the toughest yeah. the toughest point. But it's it takes a, it takes a lot of work. Yeah. As a good segue, your t- one of your two well, part time teammate is is rally legend uh, Sebastian Loeb, who blew everyone away. I I got the the uh, the notification on my phone that he won the last event. I'm like. Is it nineteen ninety nine? What? How did that happen? Is is it pretty? Must be pretty cool to have a legend of the sport and a legend for Citroen uh, in the team. Is have do you guys bounce off each other? Can you still get? Does he work with you guys at all? To be honest, I, I the, the, because how it worked earlier in the year was Seb actually took my car to, to do to do the rally, so yep. I was never his teammate. So Spain was the first time that I, that I got to be his uh, his teammate. So uh, so you had to lend Seb your car. Yeah. Did you like make him sign anything? <laughs> <laughs> not quite, not quite. But he, he did a good job with it. To be fair, on the, the two rallies that he did. So, uh, but yeah, it was the first time I got I got to work with him in Spain. So uh, okay, and an awesome guy, you know crazy amount of experience so yeah um it was interesting to, to to listen to everything that he was doing and uh yeah ultimately his experience won him the rally he made a really good tire choice on sunday morning and uh, mm. and yeah he, uh, he blew everyone away i think regardless of what tires he was on he, he still blew everybody away on on the on the first stage on, on sunday morning and, uh, and and that ultimately won him the rally so um you know chapeau he, he did a really 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 impressive job in, in spain and it was a good news story, a good news story for everybody. You know, yep. it, it came across really well on, to, yeah. on, the, on the media and the TV, and yeah. it was a big boost for Citroen. It, it had been such a difficult year, and it's, um, yeah, it was a really a good news story. Cool. Let's wrap this up with a couple of quick fire questions. Vegemite, yes or no? No. Smell of a tonic or something. <laughs> Uh, in the car, um, how do you do? You guys listen to music when you're on the track. Like, so in a, in a rally, you do the competitive stage, and then you actually drive the car uh, to the next one. Do you listen to music in the car? Yes. Can you like, so you can literally plug a phone into the to the it's, radio of the rally it's, car? Uh, Bluetooth. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we uh, yeah, he just hook, I get uh, Scott, uh, my co-driver. I give him my phone, or or get the rally phone, and we'll get Spotify going, and uh, we listen away. Are there arguments about the playlist? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Who wins? I win. <laughs> Brian Adams all the way. Oh <laughs> no, jeez. Yeah. We thought you'd be like Enya, Enya or something from. Enya, oh Enya. god, no, no, no. no <laughs> Enya is too, it's too slow. You need, you need a bit you of Brian too. Adams. You too, sorry. You, you, nah, you yeah. too was good. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, fair yeah but it's. Yeah, I, I, I prefer, uh, I prefer a bit of Brian Adams, a bit of run to you. It depends on the mood as well. It depends on. Uh, are we going round again? I wonder. Are we? Yeah, why not? We go back round again. Um, yeah, it depends on the mood. But Brian, Brian Adams gets me in there. Excellent. Uh, what do you drive at home? What's your, what's your road car? I've never owned a road car in my life. You've never owned a road car no, in your I've life? I've been very fortunate, fortunate yeah. to have a company car. So I have, a, at the moment in Andorra, I have a, have a van. I have a uh, Citroen Space Tour van. <laughs> uh, that I, the reason I take a van is I, I drive a lot with a go-kart. Uh, oh, and okay. I, so go, you do a go-kart for training? Yeah, Offer, uh, a yeah. tarmac go-kart? Yep. Yeah, 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 right. yeah. So okay. I, I put that in the back of the van and... and yep. uh, that's what I used to. That's what I used to take it around. So it's it's really really convenient. Yeah right. Okay, mate Craig Brink, thank you so much for your time. No problem. Really at all. appreciate. My pleasure. Best of luck this weekend. Keep it on the uh, keep it on the brand stuff. <laughs> Cheers. We'll try our best. Thank you. And make sure you click on to whichcar.com.au. We'll see if we can get a little bit of a photo feature up from Rally Australia featuring Craig's car. It is definitely worth catching on telly or on YouTube if you can. So thanks for tuning in. See you in a bit.